This is Professor Melanie Hildebrandt. Um, in this video, I will be working through an example where I'm calculating our market equilibrium uh, using basic linear functions. There's a problem like this on the first problem set, um, and this is also covered in the Parkins textbook in Chapter 3. So, uh, we're going to represent our supply and demand curves with basic linear functions. Suppose we have a demand curve and I'm going to give you two points on the demand curve, uh, 12 and 3 and 10 and 5. When we're talking about supply and demand and referencing a point. Uh, it's in the pattern of Q and then P. Um, and so what we're going to do, we're going to use this information to first calculate the slope of our demand function. After that, we will find the y-intercept. And then lastly, we'll put those together to have our linear equation. So starting with the slope of the demand curve. Slope is simply rise over run, or in this case, the change in price over the change in quantity. So taking those points from the previous slide, we would have the change in price, 5 minus 3, over the change in quantity, 10 minus 12. This would then become 2 over negative 2, which gives us a slope of negative 1. Right, now we're going to find the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, we're going to use the equation P equals A plus MQ where A is our y-intercept, uh, M is the slope that we just found. And so you're just going to take one point from the demand curve and plug in for P and Q, um, solving for A. So I'm going to use uh, the point 10 and 5. Again, this is my Q, this is my P. So plugging that in here, I have 5 equals A. Again, our slope we found to be minus 1 times the quantity of 10. So we have 5 equals A minus 10, or A, our y-intercept, for the demand curve is 15. Pulling all of this together to get our equation. So now we're going to bring, now we're going to bring everything together using, again, the structure P equals A plus MQ. And so we find that our demand curve is represented by P equals our y-intercept of 15. Our slope is minus 1 times quantity. Um, the minus the 1 is given there, so we would really write this as P equals 15 minus Q. Okay, so now that we've done that, we need to do the same thing for supply. And so the two points on our supply curve are going to be 7 and 10 and 9 and 12. So again, first I'm going to find my slope by looking for my change in P, so 12 minus 10 over my change in Q, 9 minus 7. So I get 2 over 2 or a slope of 1. Same thing. Uh, so again, taking one point uh, from our supply curve, we can find our y-intercept. I'm going to use uh, 12 and 9. So we have 12 equals a plus 1 times 9. And we would find that in this case for our supply curve, the y-intercept is 3. So our supply curve can be represented by p equals 3 plus 1q. Again, the 1 is given, so I'll just write uh, the q by itself. So now that we have both our demand curve, right, which is represented by P equals 15 minus Q, and our supply curve, P equals 3 plus Q, we can use these two linear functions to solve for market equilibrium. Remember, market equilibrium is the price where quantity demanded and quantity supplied are equal. So we're solving for the same thing here. These Q's are the same, okay? These, in, in equilibrium, these prices are the same. So I'm simply going to remove the P and 1 
and put the other part of the equation. So I'll have 15 minus Q equals three plus Q. So I end up with negative Q minus Q equals three minus 15. So negative two Q equals negative 12 or Q equals six. So that is our equilibrium quantity is six. To solve for price, pick either equation. So I'll just use slope, uh, supply here, P equals three plus Q. I plug in my Q. I find that my equilibrium price is three plus six or $9.